Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do pickup RNG in Pokemon uh, Black and White or Black and White 2. I'll be using Black and White 1 as an example here, but you can use Black and White 2 without any issues. Uh, so the, before I actually, you know, talk about what I need to do for the RNG, I'm going to go over the things that you actually need in order to succeed at it. So in game, the first thing you're going to need is three Pokemon with pickup. This RNG doesn't let us RNG more than three items at a time. Uh, so I've got three level 82 Lanoons here. The levels don't matter a huge amount. Um, I'll be talking about that a little bit later when I show off a chart that I've made. Do know that the rarer items only spawn at higher levels, so something like a PP up uh, doesn't start spawning uh, until the 80s, I think, as the rare item. Uh, then you'll also need a chat out with a recorded chatter. So mine sounds like this. Now, a lot of people are wondering, how do you get recorded chatters? Uh, it's really simple, just hover over chatter. So all you need to do is have a chat out that knows this move, and it'll pop up like a field move. You can hit A on it, and it'll ask you to record it. And then I just yell into the microphone. So it says when you press A, speak. So I'm going to press A and then yell. Uh... There you go. That's simple. Uh, and when you record one chat up, they'll both have it. So you can see here. They both uh, are saying ah. Then the last thing you need in game is a, a Pokemon with Sweet Scent. I've got a Fungus here. And then go and save in an area that has no like random moving NPCs or anything like that. I'll be doing it at Wellspring Cave because there's no NPCs here and if you stand still, no RNG moves. And also the Pokemon that are here are low level and you can kill them easily. Okay, so that's all you need in game. Out of game, you're going to need Pokefinder by Admiral Fish and Eon Timer 3.0 by Dylan Meadows. The thing about this is you're going to make sure that you have a Gen 5 profile. If you don't have one, uh, and you'll know by if you try and open any of the Gen 5, uh, any of the Gen 5 UI, it'll say, oh, you got to make a profile. If you don't have one, watch my videos i'll have a link in the card and a link in the description for how to calibrate your profile it's very easy and you could even do it in wellspring cave here okay so with all of the setup out of the way we can look towards doing the actual rng but you'll notice pokefinder doesn't have any button here that says pick up rng well it's actually going to be done using the event rng button this is just because of a little quirk where pick up rng works the same way as the iv rng for event pokemon so let's click event here and open that tab up then we're going to go into the searcher tab here, and we're going to take a look at the filters for the IV section. We don't want to touch any anything in the settings section at all. You could just leave this as the blank Bulbasaur thing. So the way pickup RNG works is there's two checks. The first check is, will this Pokemon pick up an item? Then the check after that is, what is this item? And so the reason we only have three Lanoons and we can only do three RNGs is that the first check here, HP, is going to be, is there an item? You always want this to be a three or less. That's just the value that determines, will there be an item? Attack is, what item is it? We'll come back to this in a moment. So then defense is again, will there be an item on our second Lanoon? Then special attack is, what item is this Lanoon holding? Then the third one is, what uh, is there an item again? And we'll just make that a three. So we need to find a Pokemon, a Pokemon with uh, zero to three IVs in or HP, defense, and special defense. Then we need to go about figuring what items we're going to be getting. So to do that, we can use this little chart that I've made. In this chart, you can see the levels, which represent what row of items you will be getting. So all of my Lanoons are level 82, so they'll be in the level 81 through 90 section. Then over here in the rows, you can see what items will spawn at what numbers. Basically, we're just going to take these numbers and put them into a math formula. So find whatever level your pickup user is. You could have like a level 51 or whatever, but I'm going to be going for rare candies. So to do rare candies with a level 81 Lanoon, uh, we're going to take this number 40 through 49. So we're going to open up a calculator and in the calculator, we're going to divide the lowest number for the rare candy, which is 40. We're going to divide that by 99 and it's going to give us this number. Then we're going to multiply this by the number of uh, the maximum number of IVs. So we'll times that by 31, and then it gives us 12.5. Now, we can't use 12.5 because that's not an IV value, so we round this up to 13. So we can do that again with the maximum number, so 49 divided by 99, and then we can times that by 31, and we'll have 15.3. So the IV value for a level 82 Lanoon to get a rare candy is 13 through 15. That is how you do this math formula, and I will show it with uh, different um, items. So let's say you wanted a PP up, which is 94 through 97. 
what you would do is 94 divided by 99. Then you would times that by 31. And that would be 20, or that would be 30. Uh, then you do it again with uh, 97. So 97 divided by 99 times 31 equals 30. So you could effectively only get a PP up uh, with a 30 IV. The IV that we're looking for is 13 through 15. So we will put that in both. We'll put that in everything. So attack, special attack, and speed. Then what we're going to want to do is go over to max advances, set that to zero. Then we can also pick out the date and time that we're willing to do. I usually like to make it a real date and time. Okay, once you've got the date range set, you can hit search. I'm actually also going to remove one, two, and three key presses. You're going to get a lot of results. Uh, so there's no reason to actually have anything like super crazy in here. So I'll set my key presses to none just to make it a little bit easier. So you can see I've got none there and then hit search. You'll get a lot of results really fast. So once all your results come in, you can pick literally any of these. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter that much. So we're going to pick this seed. We're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it into generator down here and hit calculate initial advances. And remember that 39 and then hit generate. This will get you your chat out pitches. Once that's done, what we're going to do is open the researcher. So you do that by going to the main window of Pokefinder and clicking uh, tools and researcher. So once we're in here, go to the 64 bit tab and paste your seed in the seed box as well. The initial advances set to whatever they were when you did calculate initial advances. Remember mine was 39. Yours will likely be different. Then here in custom one, set that to 32 bit high times 100. And then for custom two, set it to custom one bit shifted by 32 and then hit generate. Okay. So now that we've got the custom one uh, or the custom two correct here, what we're going to take a look at is this column and the values here are going to be below a 10 for an item to spawn and the item should be within the range that you're searching for. So I'm looking through for all 40s through 49s for rare candies. And you can actually see where it is about 23 frames after your initial uh, advance. So uh, 39. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And we can see right here. So... We have a 6, then a 47, which would be a rare candy, a 1, and then a 41, which would be a rare candy, and then a 9, and then a 48, which would be a rare candy. So what we want to do is hit this exact uh, sequence when we enter the battle. And we do that by starting the battle 7 frames before it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'll target advance 57 which we can do using the actual main window. In the main window, we can see our chat up pitches and we're just gonna use that to get to frame 57 like we were in the researcher. And we can actually do the RNG now. And we can go for the date and time listed in our uh, searcher. Okay, so it's 2022, uh, January 29th. So 2022, January 29th, 2022, Then it's 818 and then 18 seconds change that to eight 18 minutes and then it's 18 seconds so we're going to go open eon timer we're going to do the target second to 18 and it's no buttons pressed so we start eon timer at the same time as we start our uh or we save our clock then we turn it off and we just hit a to load in the game once eon timer finishes counting down Now it's important that you don't hit any buttons after you load the game up when it says key presses or buttons none. So we're gonna wait until the sparkling star uh, breaks apart. Hit A there. And we're gonna load into the game and not turn the C gear on. Then we're gonna go right into our Pokemon menu and open up our chat dots. Okay, so before we open up chat outs, we're going to check out uh, Pokefinder to make sure the chat out pitch is aligned. So the first pitch should be a high, a high of 98, which is the highest there could be is 100. It's pretty high pitched. This should be a, a pretty low pitch one now. It's pretty low. This should go back up high, but not as high as the first one. Now 
Now this one is going to be very identifiable. It's a zero. So this should be pretty low. It's pretty low. High. Mid high. Low. Mid. Mid high. I think we're on, so let's get to 57. Okay. And we can just sweet scent now. All you have to do is KO the Pokemon that appears. And now you check your party. As you can see, they've all got an item. Take that away. Rare candy. Rare candy. And rare candy. And now you can save and just do this again to get as many rare candies as you want. Uh, this is infinitely and easily repeatable. Uh, and you could use it to get whatever item that you wanted as well. So, for example, let's take a look at my item chart again. So, right now, I have three level 82 Lanoons. And the seed that I've got is always going to be hitting 40 through 49. If I switch that to uh, uh, level 91 Lanoons, this seed would be granting me three uh, Sunstones instead. Or if I switched it to three level 60 ones, they would give me three ultra balls. So you can very easily customize and figure out what's going on with these, right? And this could be really helpful for something, uh, you know, if you have a, a widespread of uh, leveled pickup users, right? Something here, uh, a level 21 pickup user where you find a seed that gets you this rare candy will also at level 81 get you this um, PP up. So I think this is, is really applicable and you could do it really, really fast and really, really quick. Uh, I've got a ton of items from it. Um, I've got tons of PP ups this way, and I, I, I have tons of rare candies. Um, so this could be really useful for a training item or uh, training Pokemon in Gen 5 or just quickly leveling Pokemon up, stuff like that. So I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you to all of my channel members. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your support on stream and for the videos. Uh, if you guys want to become a channel member, you can do it for as low as $2.99. You get access to my videos early and some cool emotes to use in my streams. In addition, if I hit 30 channel members, I'm going to be doing the Gen 4 Battle Frontier instead of just the Gen 3 Battle Frontier. So that will be fun. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.